Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. In this video I'm going to try and germinate some tree peony seeds that I've collected. So I collected these seeds about two or three weeks ago. It was just the seed pods I collected and as you can see, as the seed pod has dried out, they've split open and released their seeds. So they're quite large, the tree peony seeds. You can, you can see it there, it's quite a big, big seed for a plant really. So I've, I looked it up online and they can be a little bit tricky to germinate, especially if they've got black seed coat like this because it means that they're in full double dormancy. So basically it can take two years for these to germinate. But what I'm going to try is some different techniques that you can do to break the dormancy down and make them germinate faster. So I've taken five seeds and I've put them in hot water. A hot water treatment is, um, is quite a common way for certain plants to break down their seed coat. So I've soaked this in really quite hot water, probably about 60-70 degrees for about 5-10 minutes see if that breaks the dormancy and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to damage the seed coat because the seed coat is very hard and tough and that stops the water from getting into the seed and the reason the seed is like that is because it wants to have a good dormancy so that it doesn't germinate at the wrong time of year so it takes a while for the water to penetrate the seed coat but you can speed it up by damaging the seed coat so all I'm going to do down the seed coat is I put a small file here, I'm just going to file it down. And you want to be careful, you can damage the seed coat, it won't do any harm to the seed, but if you start going into the deeper part of the seed, where you've got the, the embryo and the, and the food store, it can be quite damaging for it. So I don't want to go too far into that, because that will cause problems later on. So I'm just filing it down until I've got the black of it all gone. You can see it's just starting to show up. A little bit there already, just needs to go a bit further. And this is say this helps let the um, let the air into the seed and also the water, which should speed up the germination time. See there, it's almost done. So there we are. That's me through the hardest part of the seed coat, and you can see some slightly lighter material underneath. So that should be far enough. So I'm going to have five of these seeds that I've, that I've scratched with the, the sander and I'm also going to have five seeds that I've soaked in the hot water and what I'm going to do is germinate them in these two trays on t wet tissue paper and the reason for that is I can see them very easily and if they start germinating I can quickly take them out. So I've got my two trays here and what I'm going to do is put four sheets of toilet paper in each one and just fold it up so it fits nicely. And all that will do is hold the moisture so that there's plenty of moisture in here for the seeds to, to swell up and to start their germination. But the tissue paper as well as holding the moisture, make sure that the water isn't sitting on them so it doesn't get them too wet. I'm going to make it really quite wet to touch. Let's see here how much I'm putting in. Fair amount of water. I'll keep an eye on it because as the seeds swell up I may need to put more water in as, the, as they take water away from the toilet, toilet paper. You can see there, there's not too much excess water, it's just all contained within the tissue. There's not any major puddles or anything like that, just a tiny little bit maybe at the bottom if I tilt it. So, on this side I've got my five seeds. I'm going to put the sanded side down because that's the bit that the water is going to penetrate through the quickest. As you see there, the sanded area. And then I've got my other five seeds, which have been in the hot water for now for about 10 minutes. Just scoop them out. It doesn't matter which way up they go, I'm just going to place them on with an even spacing. So, what I now need to do is put them in a warm location until they start sprouting. As soon as they start sprouting and they've got a little bit of a root, I can then put them in a, a pot of soil and I can put them outside. So the reason for this is these come from temperate places where they need a cold period to, because they need to think it's winter. Because what happens in the wild is these seeds ripen in autumn after a good summer's growth. The seeds then fall into the ground whilst the weather is still quite warm and they start to germinate. The seeds produce some roots and then winter arrives. During winter they're quite dormant, maybe a little bit of root growth. And spring comes up and it warms up and they have another summer and spring of growth. So you need to recreate this. So I'm going to have it warm now, which is a bit like the autumn. As soon as they've got a little bit of root growth, put them in some pots, put them outside and it'll be winter time because it's now October. And then over winter, 
and the seeds will know it's winter and they'll get ready for spring. Come spring it will warm up and they should be able to put on some nice leaves and, and some new growth. Now these plants are fully hardy, they're very tough, one of the hardest plants when it comes to temperature they can take probably minus 20, minus 30. They don't look like hardy plants, they look quite tropical with the nice flowers and the big leaves but they are actually very hardy. I've seen them myself in the wild when I was doing research up in the in, in China, I was in some of the foothills of the Himalayas and I was up at 4,000 meters and even at 4,000 meters just below 4,000, probably 3,900 I saw wild tree peonies growing out in the open and up at at almost 4,000 meters is right at the limit of the tree line and it's really cold, they can take the really cold, harsh winters so you don't have to worry about frost with these but even though they look tropical. So that's them both planted up now, I'll just um, keep an eye on them and I'll see how they do and I'll give you guys an update when they finally start germinating.